so the first revision vlog is going to be on the industry which is what the course is all about you need to know about the industry the term the industry means the business of serving food and drink it's quite simple anywhere that serves food and drink is in the catering industry the term establishment is just a place of business so that sometimes throws people off, but establishment just means a place that you go to that provides a business. If you come across the term catering establishment, obviously that means the place of business that serves food and drink, because that's what the catering industry is all about. So establishment is a place of business, a catering establishment is a place of business that serves food and drink. So you need to know the different types of establishments and businesses in the catering industry. The first one is a commercial business. So commercial, you need to remember, means to make a profit. So if you have a, a commercial business, it's a business that's set up to make a profit. Residential establishments. Now residential just means to stay over, it provides accommodation. So if you've got a residential establishment, then it's somewhere that you can go that provides food and drink, but also provides accommodation. So things like hotels and bed and breakfasts and guest houses, they serve food and drink, but you can also stay overnight. Non-residential establishments then just means the opposite. So it's somewhere that you can go for food and drink, but that doesn't offer accommodation. So you can't go there and stay. So something like a restaurant or a cafe that provides you with food and drink, but no accommodation. The next one you need to know about is a non-commercial residential establishment. So if you go back through what we've just learned, non-commercial would mean to not make a profit. So someone that's there not making a profit, but also provides accommodation because it's a res residential establishment. So things such as prisons, hospitals, somewhere that has to provide food and drink, but isn't making a profit from it, and where people stay over. The next few things that you need to know about are contract caterers. This may come up as quite a long question. So a contract caterer provides the food and drink, they're still a business, but they don't have an establishment, they don't stay in one place. They travel around to different functions and events such as weddings and meetings and they provide the food and drink. And the next thing about contract caterers you need to know is that they don't always prepare the food on site. They can either prepare the, prepare the food away and they can bring it to the venue and to the event or they can prepare the food there and serve it from there. It all depends on what facilities are available if they've got the kitchen services. And the last one you need to know about contract caterers is that they provide their own staff. Contract caterers are used for a range of organisations and companies and they just take the pressure off whatever's happening in the first place, like the wedding or the function, the meetings. They don't have, the people organising those events don't have to think about the food and serving the food, which is why they hire in the contract caterers who do all that for them. So they'll take their own staff to serve the food and they'll prepare the food themselves. So that's the top 10 things you need to know about the industry.